Hi, my name is Tirum Panasian. This is my first video tutorial that I decided to create for my students in Biology 1200 class. Uh, the purpose of this tutorial is to help my students uh, to create charts with Excel. So as you guys remember, uh, we collected data last week and and put it in this Excel sheet. Uh, the sheet is available on Canvas and you can create the chart on your own after watching this video. So in order first to create the chart you want to click on any cell on your sheet and then click insert button here the insert tab and then go to column chart and create the cluster column the most simple one as you can see blank square will appear that you will actually build your own chart from scratch so in order to do that you will go to select data and then you will uh, see two boxes here we will be working with both of them. So first you want to create the legend series and in our case the legend series are two bacteria species. So you will click uh, first add and for the first series let's select E. coli and as you can see the species name appear on this side and for the series values since we're graphing the mean values for this uh, graph, uh, you, while holding the control key down, you need to select mean values for E. coli. And then press OK. As you can see, uh, E. coli values of zone of an inhibition for E. coli appears as a bar graphs. Then you want to add the second series uh, which is Staphylococcus epidermidis. So you will click there and as you can see the species name appear also on the right hand side here. And then for the series values this time while holding the control key down you will be selecting the mean values for this species. And then press OK. As you can see, second bar, set different color appears on the chart. Then the next step, you want to add the horizontal category uh, for axis label. Uh, in which case, in our case, it's a uh, different antibiotics. So for that purpose, clicking the edit, and while holding Control key down, you will be selecting antibiotics. And then pressing OK. As you can see, the antibiotics names appear on the bottom here, on the X axis. So uh, now uh, you are done with this uh, part of the organization of the graph. So make sure to click OK in order to save the data here. And then now you need to organize um, other things on the chart. So in order to do that, on the top right corner, there is a chart element. So make sure to click that on that square there and select axis titles, chart title, error bars, and the legend. So as you can see, a legend appeared right away. And in our case, the legend is E. coli is for the blue columns and Staphylococcus epidermidis for the red, uh, red uh, bars. So uh, let's work with the error bars uh, first. Uh, so we'll click on the options here and then click more options. Uh, so you will first select one of the species. Uh, in our case, we selected the E. coli first and then click custom and specific values. 
So uh, as it shows here positive error values and a negative error values. But since we only have the range, so you will select the same value for standard deviation twice, which will appear as an error bar in our case. So make sure uh, to delete the values provided there. And while holding Ctrl key down again, now you will be clicking um, uh, standard deviation values for E. coli since we have selected E. coli this time. And then you will press enter and do the same for the negative values now. And then you press OK. As you can see, they appear. Let me make the graph uh, somewhat bigger so you actually can see what's happening there. So now you want to do the same changes for the Staphylococcus epidermidis. So while selecting it, so you will uh, click the custom and then uh, specific values. And you would do exactly the same for this species or bacterium. So, while holding Ctrl key down, I will be selecting the standard deviation for this species. And then enter. And repeat that for negative values. And then press OK. As you can see, values are there so um, be creative with the chart title I will not uh, tell you what to write here uh, for the axis title uh, make sure that it describes uh, that it's actually given for two different species of bacteria the only one that I will actually talk about and it's very important uh, in order not for you to miss it so the y-axis is our uh, zone on inhibition. So zone of inhibition. And also very important, you need to put the units that we're using to measure the zone of inhibition. And in our case, it's in millimeters. So uh, the rest of the chart, the editing, you should be able to do it on your own. Thank you for watching this video.